Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and finally iOS 16.2 is here and it comes packed with new features and changes. But not all of these features are known to the public. There are a lot of features that probably a lot of you guys don't know that you have on your iPhone running iOS 16.2. So in this video, I will show you guys more than 20 new hidden features and changes that you will find on your device running iOS 16.2. Now before we get started, just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that currently watch my videos are not yet subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of those, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel a lot. And we're starting the first one with the lock screen. So whenever you go to your lock screen and you have a wallpaper set on one of your lock screens, the easiest way to find that wallpaper on your app, on your photos library is with the new feature that Apple has added on iOS 16.2. So you tap on customize, tap on the lock screen and tap on these three dots right here. Now what this will do is that it will find you that picture on your photo library. You tap here and it takes you directly to that photo on the photo library. There are new markup tools that Apple has added to iOS 16.2. So whether you're on the notes app or anywhere else and you use the markup tools, if you just slide here, you will get now two new markup tools. So right here, if you take a look at these, you can see they look just like normal, just like the previous ones. You will have to actually slide here and you will get more tools to mark up. As you probably know, with iOS 16, when you're searching for something on the spotlight search, the results will actually be saved so you can have quick access to them whenever you want to. And you probably know that you can actually swipe on one of them to clear them just like this. But with iOS 16.2, you can also 3D touch on one of them and it will give you the option to actually clear all the recent searches at once. There are new actions for the battery on the Shortcuts app. So if you're searched for get battery status, now we can also get the battery level, but also is charging or is connected to a charger. So you will have two more options, not just the level or battery, but you can get the status whether the device is charging or not and whether it is connected to a charger right here. With iOS 16.2, now you can report incorrect visual lookups. So that is the feature that you get on the Photos app when you have a picture of something, maybe an animal or a bird or whatever that is, and you will have here the visual lookup feature. You get the results if you see that this is not okay and it's not what, is act what it actually is, you can now actually go ahead and report this. Now the way to report this is by tapping here on the lookup, it will show you the results and then you can go ahead and report an issue from here. There is a new feature on the notification center as well. So when you go to your notification center, when you have your device unlocked, whether you go from the home screen or you're within an app and you bring down the notification center, now it shows you the new not notifications, but also the older notifications as well. Now, while you're on the lock screen, of course, it won't show the older notifications. You will have still to swipe up here to show them. But when you pull down the notification center, from the home screen or any other app, it will also show you the older notifications that you currently have. Now this right here is one of my favorite new features of iOS 16.2. When you go to the weather forecast, you will have the hourly forecast here and then you have the forecast for the next 10 days. I can tap on any of these 10 days and show here the weather forecast by minute, not by hour like it used to be on iOS 16.1, it's actually now by minute. So you can just drag it like this and you can see it will show you the weather forecast by minute for any city that you want. Not just the temperature, you can tap here, you can actually switch to other things like the UV index maybe, or maybe humidity, visibility, pressure, anything you want, wind, right here go ahead and also see the wind right here by minute not by hour even by minute on the lock screen of your ios 16.2 device now you will have another new stocks widget for your lock screen so this is the widget right here it's the bigger one now it has basically the symbol right there and it has the chart as well so that actually looks really really cool so if you use the stocks widget on your lock screen, you know that now you have a brand new widget that you can add, which is the bigger one. 
When on the lock screen of your iOS 16.2 device and you have one of your focus modes turned on, now you will have to press and hold to bring up the focus modes menu so you can turn it off from here or maybe just change to another focus mode. If previously you could just tap on the focus here and it would open it, now it won't do that. You will have to actually press and hold. Now here is another really good feature of iOS 16.2. Whenever you have your device connected to your car and you're playing music, you will now get that little car icon right there on the music player. On your lock screen, it will do the same for the control center as well. Previously, it wouldn't mind whether you have it just connected to a speaker or to your car, it would just show a speaker right there. Now it shows actually an, a car icon. If you use the Stocks app of iOS, you will have now new options here. By tapping on the 3D, the 3D dots right there, you will have more options. You can actually now sort the watch list manually or by price change or market cap or symbol or name. You will have a few different options right here, allowing you to sort your lists any way you like. With iOS 16.2, now you will have the ability to actually provide feedback for an unintentional SOS call. Now this is what you will see right here. So you can see if you did make an SOS call by accident, you can now actually report it from here. A very, very nice feature to have, of course. SOS calls are always really, really important and no one should actually make calls without having actually the need to make them. So if you by accident make one, then go ahead and of course report it using this new iOS 16.2 feature. Another thing you can now report is that you can report concerns for lyrics on the music app. So if you use the Apple Music apps and use lyrics, now you can actually report an issue with the lyrics of any song that you're listening to. Whether the lyrics are incorrect or they're missing something, you can just go ahead and just report them from here. And this right here is pretty cool. Lyrics on songs with two different artists will be lined up like this. So you will have one artist on the left side here, just like you see in this example. Then you will have the other artist on the other side right there. This is really, really cool. A very nice touch to the lyrics feature on iOS 16.2. And now with iOS 16.2, you will have your favorite artists on the music app on a list view. Previously, you had a grid view. This is much, much better. So if you use Apple Music, I don't actually, I use Spotify. If you use Apple Music, then this is the new list view that you will get on your favorite artists. A really cool new touch to the music app is also the new animations that you will get on the buttons of the music control here. So when you tap to go backwards or forwards or when you play and pause, you will have these new animations on the buttons right there. Now these are part of iOS 16 on the lock screen and control center since iOS 16 has been released, but now Apple has added it to the music app as well. Another cool thing that I like about iOS 16.2 is that it has brought back the colors to the wave right there on the dynamic island. I don't know why, but with iOS 16.1, Apple had actually muted these colors. Now they're back and they look much, much better. As you probably know, with iOS 16.1, Apple had added like a line around the dynamic island there. The line is still there, but with iOS 16.2 is much, much thinner and also the color is more subtle, so you won't actually notice it a lot. I have to say that I like the previous one better. The iOS 16.1 line looked much, much better. And once again, Apple has made another change on the update section on the settings app. So whenever you go to software update and you have your device up to date, it will say iOS 16.2 iOS is up to date. They have unbolded the text again. And this right here is pretty cool. Head on to settings, Siri and search, and you will have a new option here. When you go to Siri responses, you will have the ability to actually turn on prefer silent responses. So whenever you just ask something for Siri, you get a silent response, basically a text, just in case you're connected to a car or maybe you're using your headphones, then it will actually give you a spoken response. And last but not least, we're talking about the Messages app. Now, according to Apple and the release notes for iOS 16.2, there has been an improvement 
on the messages app search so when you go to messages you can now search things like just like you would do on the photos app so you can search for maybe attachments photos you have sent or received basically it's search for things like cars dogs or whatever you know that's on the photo well i have tried it it works sometimes sometimes it doesn't work that good this might be a, uh, like a server-based problem, so hopefully that will get better. That would be an amazing change. Even though it's here, you won't actually have it working on all the time. Sometimes it, wor it works good, sometimes it doesn't, but it's here and it's a pretty, pretty cool feature to have. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more iOS 16.2 videos. I'll see you guys on the next one.